and welcome. So, um, if you've been watching my videos, uh, you will see that I've been doing a, like an autumn reset. But when it comes to doing autumn reset, it's not just about materialistic things, but it's also about you know changing habits. Um, it's all about setting goals, and also there is your life which you're working and not working for you. So, uh, for example, you know, I've been trying to establish a different makeup routine because I like putting on makeup, but I also like makeup free days. But when I have created a look that I can do every day with a little effort, that I can look at myself and feel, you know, I've turned up today. And so today I just put on some lipstick uh, because my lips were dry, I didn't have a lip seal, lip balm, so I put some lipstick on and instantly. It altered the way I was feeling. I was feeling slumped today, uh, and I can often feel that way on you know at the end of the week because you know catching up on sleep and and you know Saturdays is always a busy day because I look after my son and it's taking me on days out and and you know doing different things at the weekend is great, but it, it but I mean to get up early because my son's in early bed. You know, can take its toll, but also it's good to just have a cup of tea or coffee and then go out. You know, um, but it's looking at different areas mindfully that can also help how we feel and set ourselves up for what's next to come. So you know, when it comes to um, doing a reset, it's not just about you know, hoovering and vacuuming and and I've sorted out my shoes today um, so it's part of that but it's also about like I say mental health as well areas in which are making you happy and which aren't and you know going through everything that makes you want to get out of bed and ones that you want to avoid uh, for example you know I've just trying to upload up uh, update my LinkedIn profile and I find that really hard because it's hard to I find it hard to comment about myself a lot and I'm trying to get into the habit of you know being kinder to myself because I'm my worst own critic and I can really be unkind to myself and that's something that I've had to work on for my life and now I'm getting into that mindset of I'm not that bad you know you know I've still got limbs I've still got you know I still can smile you know I've still got you know, my son is one of the best things in my life, and so I've got a lot around me, which is good. But it's also, I mean, today I had to catch myself because today, the one thing I hate is when you wait. I have pet, pet peeves. And one of them is the waiting on the train. I really annoys me when people won't let you get off the train before they get on. And today, I did just that, but it was unintentional. You know, I didn't realise there was more people coming off. So I got on the, on the train and see as I saw people trying to push to get off. I felt terrible thinking, that's not what I'm about. You know, and I really had to catch myself. And so next time I'm going to hold myself back, you know, and make sure that everyone's got off. And we you learn by mistakes. But, um, you know, we're doing a reset. is not just, you know, uh, clean and tidy in spaces, you know, physical items. But mental, men, mental, you know, areas of your life which you want to change, um, and it's just making great, good habits. You know, I always make my bed now. I always um, make sure I walk a lot during the day. I make sure that I drink, you know, drinks that are gonna suit my body. Am I my working sugar? There's a lot of people focus on, so I've really been down, down, limiting myself on you know things like sugar and because it's not good you can get addicted to it and it's not good for the body to have a lot of it and so I'm very conscious of what you know I consume um, you know in my body because I think that's so important because food can have a lot of um, can play a huge part in how you're feeling you know, it's all right to have a jam donut but is it going to make you feel guilty is it going to are you going to be then going over your head, or oh, I shouldn't have had that, or tomorrow, next, tomorrow will be different, I will no longer touch the donut, and then you find that you, you have another one, you know. Um, so it's not limiting yourself in terms of 
what you can and can't have. It's just what's what's working for you and what's not working for you. Um, and going through that, you know, of areas that you want to build and that I've I find it hard to work indoors now. Um, because of you know, I want to make sure that I, you know, because I want to do more work outside and and so I've been looking to sort of work in different areas where I, you know, I'm reaching out to people, but but face to face, you know, um, and so you know, and I know that would make me happy because that's the reason why I started to write blogs and books because and do videos is because I want to reach out to people. And when you struggle with, you know, um, the everyday at times, because this is where it's changing as well. You know, if do, you know, it's good to mix up your weeks and not do the same thing every day because it can become boring, repetitive. And you feel like you're stuck in a rut, and that's the worst thing you can feel. So you know, doing different things. You know, um, I mean, I always make sure that. Uh, just now, I went to cup of tea, so I'm to have a cup of tea. Um, and, you know, I took him over by train because I, I didn't want his dad to have him to travel all the way over to pick him up, bring back, so I got the train because I'm working today. Um, and so it's doing different habits that makes you happy, and then obviously the people around you. But you've got to work on yourself as well, and there's a part of your life that you're not happy with then you do need to deal with them to, you know, and so what will make you happy? You know, is it changing jobs? Is it perhaps you're not happy where you live? Perhaps you're not um, feeling you're getting much out of each day? And it's probably because you're doing the same thing all the time. That's why I like Saturdays to be my day off, where I stay clear of social media. I, may, I, may, I do like to post a some on my Instagram, uh, on a Saturday, I do all things that are different than we do, you know, weekend. But it's mixing it up that you know, if you want to go and see a show, theatre, you know, next year I've decided that I wanted to go to more shows and, and you know, do more outside activities rather than indoors because, you know, I feel that I need to, I want to do more walking as well because I love to walk and on my birthday I'm planning on doing a long walk. I know some people say, what, you know, why would you want to do that on your birthday? This is something I enjoy and I love exploring. So I'm, you know, I'm hoping that I can have a cheap, my birthday by my, you know, I'm going out in the evening for a meal, which I'm looking forward to, and then I do something on the Saturday after. But obviously there's a train strike and that's it. As it happens on that Saturday, so I might have to do something on the Sunday instead, or... No, but on Tuesday, I'll, I'm hoping that I'll have a whole day to myself, um, and or have part of the day to myself, and and go for a walk somewhere and go to somewhere I've been for a long time. So that's what I'm planning on doing Tuesday. And it's things like that, you know, do what suits you, uh, and you know, have you know, make changes that make you happy, that will then make other people happy, you know, and just. You know, making the most of each day. You know, you have to have. You know, if you want a glass of wine in the evening, you can have a glass of wine. As long as you're not ten glasses of wine each night. You know, obviously, because that is not not good. Because then you can, that can come with, you know, health issues and how you feel about yourself. But and I, on the Saturday, sometimes I will have an alcoholic drink. You know, I um, I will take him on a train somewhere. And, and explore like yesterday we went to Hampton Coke and after swimming lesson. Um and it's different places that, you know, would take you take your mind off things as well. You know, if there's areas that are working out but you can't help those events, like a part of somebody your family becoming ill, for example. You, there's no way to plan around that as such or avoid it. As something that you have you have to deal with in your own time but if you know you can do something that's that's still going to make you feel well within yourself then I say do it you know it's all about my it's all about balance and moderation um but also taking yourself out of your comfort zone 
you know, uh, and I find out that, you know, for example, I um, want to start doing, um, I'm thinking about going to, using the gym again once a week or three times a week, um, you know, and doing something that is going to build me up and feel even more good about myself, you know. So uh, I'll just go each, you know, you know, each week do a long walk somewhere. Um, I mean, at the moment I do whatever I can. If I can walk, some, walk, walk it, I will walk it. And it's quite. I mean, I do tend to when I have to go over to uh, Epsom when my son lives, I'll often will walk to the train, walk to the bus stop, which is quite a distance to get to there, or, or train. Um, so I don't always rely on public transport if I can go for a long walk and it makes me feel good and I find walking is the best kind of exercise uh, for me because it just it helps with creativity, it helps with creating stresses and strains, it just helps me to uh, unwind funny enough. So I just like to let my feet do the talking and just enjoy it, enjoy every step, listen to music, you know, and just being with yourself, with, you know, with pet, good, you know, good rest in a good pair of walking shoes, you know, that not going to cause you blisters, but, you know, it's something that I really, that's a habit that I really want to, again, do, is do a lot of walking, because that benefits, in, benefits me in so many ways, that, you know, I'm glad that I, you know, I, I mean, I think I get that from my dad because he was always walking. He'd walk everywhere. You know, he would walk from central London all the way home where we used to live in Hammersmith. And he would. He, he, if he could walk it, he walked it. And I think I have the same main, main, what's the word? Uh, mentality. Um, and, you know, and I just, it just has so many health benefits as walking. Um, and all exercise, you know, people say that, you remember a, a drug instructor, I was saying to drive, and he said that he, he can't do physical exercise, you know, and he said that I can't do it, and so what, and my question was, um, how do you get to from your home to your car, you know, because that is still exercise, you know, it's still moving your body, so you can do it, it just, you can't do it in high, High intensity, but it's still exercise. You know, uh, how much you use your arms to drive the steering wheel? That's still movement. So you can do physical activity. It's a, people think that physical activity is, you know, doing walking ten miles a day, and it's not. It's about moving your body to get from A and A to B. But also that, you know, I mean. It's like I was watching Strictly last night, and I and I felt so um, what's the word? I felt so like I was there dancing when I was watching Tony Adams. He, he's an ex-footballer that played for Arsenal. He was a defender, and he was you could see that he was petrified, and he you know he I could see it, he you know he was make a mistake after mistake and really trying to do his best to to you know to do the routine in the correct way but you can see that his mind and his body there was like a barrier there you know and the way he he, he nearly got choked up about it you know and it's just shows to show that you know he is you know physical activity you know, doing dancing um you know even gardening or cleaning, tidying, it's still exercise and moving your body. So, yeah, exercise means just moving your body, moving your body, and uh, and do you know exercise that suits you and that makes you happy. But it's about moving your body, you know, and and so you know, exercise isn't just about you know doing aerobics or you know lifting weights. It's also about you know walking to the bus stop, walking, doing it, walking around the grocery store, you know, walking around through a park, 
you know, it's still walking, and I do include it in my in my fitness because it benefits me so much. And I would, if you can walk, and and you know, it don't I don't see it as exercise. That's the thing. It's getting from A to B, but I feel so good because of it. You know, and you know, playing rugby with my son, physical activity. Um, you know, uh, playing football, having a kickabout, and uh, that's exercise. And so you know, doing just going for a kickabout with a football with your kids, that's still physical activity. And I think sometimes we we mistake we see exercise as a chore rather than rather than something that is enjoyable. But it is enjoyable because it's not a chore. It's something that makes you. It's something that you know makes you want to get out of bed. You know. Um, and it doesn't mean about, you know, getting up and doing 15 miles a day. It's about what, how it makes you feel, you know, afterwards. Because so I'm not always, you know, oh, I've got the bus. And then I find, I'll walk it, and I do. And then I feel so good for it. So, you know, doing the autumn reset is changing aspects of your life that gives you a better well-being. And it gives you a good, better mindset. And that's what it's, you know, that's doing all this research. It's not just about clean and hoovering, it's also about how you feel in your body, in your mind, the people around you, the environment in which you, you live in. You know, um, you know, it can all play a part. So, you know, it's, it's making steps for you to feel that you have more self, you find that you have more self worth. Um, and in turn, you know, when people, when I was doing my, my uh, running event, because I was doing a lot of um, charity runs and walks, and I was still going to get back into that because I enjoyed them so much. And I've, I found it that as soon as I that people were got around, when I was working in the call centre at the time, other people wanted to join me in doing some of their charity runs and walks. And so we did that, and the, the company uh, uh, one Friday, or was it Friday or in the week, uh, have a dress down day um, as long as they donated a pound towards the charity run. And it was when I was doing Race for Life, yeah, with a couple of uh, uh, ladies from, from the course centre that I was working at. And you know, and then it encouraged others, you know, to do the same. and. So it can be contagious as well, because they see how well it makes you feel. It's like, wow, you know, I want to feel like that. And just changing how you, you know, changing your every day that brings you more, you feel that you've got more out of the day, rather than sitting and watching the TV all, all, all day long. Because I used to love my lazy days, but then I feel guilty for not getting dressed. So now I still get dressed, but I just, I just don't do so much, and I give myself time to watch a film or to you know catch up on this TV series and I know a lot of people say screen time isn't good but it's again to balance moderation. It doesn't have to be you know if, as long as you're not you know five days a week sitting and watching T V or dinner and then for me it's a it's how I like to uh, unwind and it just takes you away from from your you know daily life. And it, it's like reading a book, you know. It just for that time. That's what I love. You know, when I travel to to from uh, where my son lives each day, I love being able to do music or reading a book on the train, and I find that it makes the journeys easy, easier to to do, and it makes me look forward to the travel that I do each day. Um, and it's things like that. It's whatever makes you feel fulfilled, uh, makes you feel that you ha you you're accomplishing things each day. You have a sense you you can see that there's going to be a good future, and I feel like that now. I feel so ready to um, to you know work you know outside again, where you know I'm helping people with the way they feel about themselves, not just doing these vlogs and videos. And just do something that's worthwhile. I don't want to be sitting at a desk all day long. 
um, watching the world go by, I want to get out there now and as well as do this work, you know, do more to help other people and that's my aim and to get back in and I'm going to see some shows next, next year because um, that's something I really like to do and I'd love to take Henry to a music festival so that's something I've always in mind, so I want to send to a football match so, you know, when it comes to reset, if you're setting new goals, and I'm going to be doing that, setting my goals for the rest of the year and what I want to achieve between now and December. And then I'll be doing another set of goals beginning of uh, January. Because I, that's how I kind of live. I, I split my year into quarters because I find that suits me. Um, and so I set quarterly goals um, each quarter. So it is from, for me, it's January, February, March is my first quarter, uh, April, May, June is the second quarter, July, August, September is my third quarter and then October, November, December is the fourth quarter and that's how I live by, but also uh, my, I've got to work with the, so January to August I will do a set of goals for and then September this year is when I start to plan more, I set more goals and new things, you know, uh, that give me shit that I want to do um, and sort, you know, sort of things in my life um, for the rest of the year. Um, and then January, I'll be setting more goals, planning a lot more things I want to do, um, marking out my year, so I like to mark the year out uh, in January. And the same in September when school starts, um, and it's and you know a lot of people may think that's boring, but you you know if you have things that are, you know that uh, are different to Monday, different from Monday to Friday, or different at the weekends, then and it makes you happy, and it makes you you know want to get up and you know make the most of each day, then then do that. And it's all about. Uh, you know, wellness, your well-being, and health and well-being is so important because you know it's all about self-development and personal development, and making sure that you don't dread the day but look forward to each day, um, and see it as an adventure, uh, you know, rather than a chore. But if you think about chores, it makes me want to go stay away. But if I see it's something that's going to be it make me feel good, feel happy afterwards, even if I was looking forward to it. Uh, you, you know, that's what helps me to keep my my mindset healthy and keep my body healthy, which is so important. So anyway, um, so this video is long, uh, but I hope that helps you. And um, and let me know in the comments one thing that you're going to change this year. Uh, certain things and what are plans do you have? You know, how, you know, what goals have you set yourself? There's one goal uh, for me, I could say, is to um, find new work outside of doing my blogs and videos. And, uh, and next year, it's going to be about going to more shows. I want to take him to more. I mean, we. We did see some good shows this year, but that's what I want to do more of. I'm d I would love to see Bruce Vincent in concert, but the tickets sold out so quickly, and so I'm gutted that I'm not going to go see him. But I'm going to leave, I'm going to try and, and see how I can book to go to a festival game uh, next year. So that's also on the list, and it's things like that. It's good to have things to look forward to. That's why it's good to mix up your week. Don't do, don't do the same train journey every day. If you can go on a different route for a change, go a different route. Um, if it, you know, talk about walking, I you know I would like to get into the habit of walking to Malden where I get the bus rather than getting the bus there because it's not that far away. That's something that I really want to do, you know, even in winter time. Is it, it, perhaps not walking back because it starts getting dark early, but uh, especially but in during the day. Um, that's something that I really would like to do is to walk to Morden, which is quite a fair distance, but I, I want to do that because I know I feel so good for it and it will save me money, 
you know, on bus travel because, you know, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, uh, in any way um, bankrupt or anything like that. Uh, I just, I'd like to be careful with my money. And that's another thing, is setting financial goals as well. And so, you know, I've wanted to get that, so I've already planned that, you know, because I, you know, I have get a credit card in a minute and, you know, uh, another card that I was using. But that's why I'm trying to, you know, get that sorted out. Um, and, you know, I have been a little reckless with that when it comes to spending, you know. I, I think that can become addictive. So I've, you know, changed my mindset of, you know, I don't need anything else. And use it what I've got first. But if they're essential items, then I'll buy them. Um, but I'm going to share more on that on my other channel for my way, my start, my way of living. Um, which another thing I want to do more videos for on my other two channels that I've and um, that I've created. So, you know, those plans, and I'm going to write a new goals list and put it on my Notion and download Notion on my phone. So I've always got that list on me rather than you know paper because I do I'm conscious of of you know paper that I use and that's sort something of I want to go more digital with my planning now, uh, but still using that paper because I find it that works for me, but um, it is easier to have, I mean, I'll always make sure I've got a notebook on me because I like to write things down when I travel. But I have days where I just, I can use my phone rather than, um, rather than having to carry around my notebooks all the time. Do you know what I mean? I'll keep ahead of my, keep in terms of what I need to do, basically, on the go. Um, and the other thing is sort my emails out. <laughs> That's another thing that I I'm conscious of. So you know, each day and sometimes I'll you know if I'm waiting for a train or bus, I just go for my emails. And it's getting into those habits. We're making most of each time where you can just check your emails, swap through them, delete what I don't need. I've I search it, I'm just just unsubscribe from many things now. And it's that's the one thing that touch on the dust for me. I like to have a good clear out. So that is why, you know, uh, and work on my mind as well, because then I will get it done, you know. So, uh, and I've written a list of uh, things that I want to sort out. I want to do total reset of sort of stuff out. So uh, I've already done my shoes out, which I can tick off. Uh, I want to go for my bags. I want to go for some paperwork through my son's folder that I put together. Uh, and in the box file I've got, I've got when I took that out, uh, I want to get some more folders, sort of my bags, the shoes I've done. Um, uh, but then obviously I need to change my shoes for when we call the colder months. Uh, but there's some items that I don't wear that I don't need anymore. Um, I'm, I'm going through everything, you know, the things that I still want to keep. I mean, I don't want to get rid of it. I'm get, if it makes you happy to keep that item, you keep it. But I don't know, I've got a pair of by trainers there and they look lovely but to walk in is very difficult because they might well they're so like um soft on my feet my phone as I walk my feet push forward and so I find it hard to walk in them so they're going and uh, there's some clothes that I don't wear that I can be I'm gonna hand down because and I really guess I've got to jump on today and I've got these little marks in, on them and I don't know where they've come from uh, and I really love this jumper. This is I show you what I'm wearing. It's my uh, it's an EP and it's got happy across it. But there's some like marks. I don't know where they've come from from washing them. But really disappointed because I lo love these jumpers and I really don't want to throw them away. But if, uh, obviously if they've still got marks, then I will probably have to get rid of them. Uh, but hopefully we can get them out. I mean, I want to stay sort of playing love with my son in the park. So I put it on, but I still would like to keep it and and see if like they can be rid of because it's you know it's just I mean oh, I'm gonna lose that item now and I mean I've got I've got other jumpers but you know when you actually love something that you wear it, it's hard to let, to let it go and it's it's just easy to wear it's nice and warm it's comfy uh, 
but also it looks you know fine but with the marks on it you know um, it you know it is disappointing really but hopefully they might be able to come out but anyway so uh but that's that's it for this video so i've been rambling on um but i hope that helps you and i'll see you next video so take care bye bye